Hey everybody, it is July 2nd, uh, 2020, and I am out in my yard, in my front garden, front yard garden today, and started working on yet another project and totally forgot to grab the camera when I was doing it. So, I did it again. I don't know why I keep forgetting to just start the project with you guys on camera so that you can see step by step of how I'm doing these crazy projects. But this um, project is to trellis my Kajari melons, my Benny Kodima melons, and my sugar baby melons. Um, I shot a video earlier today on how I'm going to trellis my cucumber melons, which was kind of the same way. Um, I'll show those in this video as well. But this idea came in my mind because I needed um, I had a lot of T post, like short T post. I think they're like two foot. Um, yeah, they're like three foot T posts, but then like six inches of them go in the ground. Um, PVC pipe. Um, I got one, nope, two inch PVC pipe, and then I got one inch PVC pipe for the smaller milk you could see. This is a T post with the PVC pipe and the um, zip ties. I also threw a screw in it to hold it into the ground so it doesn't lift up. So like I said, this is a T-post with some PVC pipe on it. I did a bunch of zip ties, but then I did throw a screw through it as well um, to kind of anchor that PVC pipe in there so it doesn't lift up. Um, then I also have a roll of welded um, wire fencing that I'm going to cut in like eight feet um, strips to throw over the top of this. Um, and then this PVC pipe obviously is over the top of the um, T-post, like this one here. I threw it over the top of it. I stuck it in the groove. I love my street. <laughs> anyway. I put it in the little um, hook on the on the T post, shoved that PVC pipe down in there, and then I also put a screw back here through. There's holes through your T post. I did this screw through that hole and through the one inch PVC. So this one is anchored in as well. And as you can see, it's a big arch. And it's about six feet tall, I think. Um, just high enough for me to walk under. It would probably hit my bun, um, but that's tall enough to get the melons to crawl up the trellis and over the trellis. I just ran out of garden space in my garden to do this in the garden, so I basically just used this extra three feet of space here in my garden um, to make, build this archway that I'm going to put the welded wire on it now so that I can make my arch. My melons are only this tall, but I wanna get it prepared for the future because if you build it, they will come. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I got um, this T-post in the ground. It's nice and secure. I'm gonna put my PVC pipe in there in that little groove on this side over here, I have the PVC pipe over the top of the T-post, as you can see. I did notch it back here in one of those little hooks, and I have not put the screw through yet, but I will. But that right now is not secure at all. Like I can lift the um, PVC pipe out of there. You can see it coming in the bottom, coming out the bottom. This is just basically being an extra set of hands for me right now while I throw this one against this T-post and secure it with some zip ties. There is a hole. You can see these holes. I hope you can see that. Yeah, so there's where the notch is and then there's a hole. So that hole is what I um, throw a screw through to kind of anchor it down so it doesn't lift up out of this thing. Because these zip ties don't secure it other than just holding it in place. So I just do quick zip ties. I'm so glad I grabbed a huge package of these zip ties. I've used them all summer. I'm so grateful I had them. 
Okay, so this one's secure. Then let's get the screw into this one. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. This day, this part of this day, like the timing of right now in the day is fantastic because it is, smells so good. Everybody's barbecuing right now and I just want a plate of food so they can bring it over anytime. But you know that's not going to happen. I just kind of eyeballed where that hole, hole is going to be. We'll see if we hit it. These suck. You're going to have to give me a minute. <laughs> I'm back. Injury and all. Yeah, I drilled right through my finger. <laughs> That's what I do. So, other than my camera being completely crooked, let me scoot you over here a little bit. Um, I got the hole drilled through over here um, through the T-post and I got the one inch PVC pipe down inside there where the screw will go through there now and it will anchor in that one inch PVC pipe. So let's go ahead and screw that in. Now this won't lift out which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Now we have all of them secure. I have them all lined up here. And then on the other side, all lined up over here. The reason that I did it with these on one side was just because I needed an extra set of hands and I needed it to hold while I got it. And then it also is a little bit more stable being inside a PVC pipe on one side, um, kind of anchors it a little better. If I did both sides like this, if a windstorm came, it'd probably knock it right out of there. Um, bend those PVC pipes over. Who knows, I probably could have done this symmetrically on both sides and had it look just fine. But let me see. That's what it looks like um, after I finished. So obviously we got the PVC pipe, the two inch on these sides, inside the grooves and screwed through the T-post and the one inch that goes up and over. These are, like I said, I think around six feet tall. Um, this is the cucamelon one that I made today. There's cucamelon, there's, those are about five feet T-post um, on either side. I got those for free from Facebook, somebody on Facebook. And then I put this welded wire. Um, it's got the skinny, skinny pieces on this side, the skinny holes on this side, and I think like ducks and rabbits and stuff, I guess, can go in this kind of cage uh, fencing. But um, it doesn't need to be really very sturdy because it's just cucamelons. They're not very heavy at all. They're like grapes. Um, but they now have the opportunity to grow up this trellis. And that's clearly like eight feet tall. Um, and then I wanted the melons to grow and they'll be about six feet tall here. So that's what I got going on. Now I just got to cut these, this wire, welded fence and arch it over the top. And I think it came out to be like six feet. So there's gonna be one panel, two panels, three panels, four panels of this welded mesh fencing over the top um, so that I can grow my melons. And then I'll just line my buckets for the melons on the outside and grow them up this side and over the top. I don't wanna start them on this side over here because I don't want them to shade out my peppers. So if they're gonna shade out the peppers, I'm gonna let the peppers produce and get taller by the time these get up and over my trellis, then they might be a little bit shaded because my sun is over here during the day. 
Um, I get full sun between this white house and my house over here. I have a, a garden over here in the side of my driveway. Um, let me get one of these welded wire fences cut and then I'll install it and we'll be done with the video. Okay, I'm back. So I cut my welded wire to eight feet and it was not long enough. So it ends here. <laughs> so what I'm going to have to do is um, just add some more extra wiring here and I'll do that as the melons grow because I have no idea how long they're going to get over the trellis here. Um, as you can see, I'm now just zip tying the welded wire to the PVC. I put a bungee here to kind of help it um, hold it together as I was installing it. Because I'm a one-man show and I need an extra set of hands. Bungees come in handy. So that's what I did. Um, I probably didn't need to go as low as I did with this one down here. Um, that's about where the bucket's going to be, but then it just helps me from having to train it up like a string or something to get to the fence. So this is the first one, and I will overlap a little bit of the welded wire. Um, you can obviously see it comes over this far. Um, I'll overlap the next set going forward because um, I did it 32 inches apart and these are 36 inches wide. So that's what I did today and I just wanted to share how, how I made my um, arch trellises because um, I had free welded wire um, for these. I got it for free and then my cattle panels I actually purchased and those were 32 Feet, or $32 each, which was a little steep, but I also can use those in the winter for um, a greenhouse. Um, use six mil plastic on them and um, use it as a greenhouse for when I seed start for next year. That's it. That's all I wanted to share with you today. Um, I'm going to continue putting my uh, welded mesh fencing <laughs> on these. Uh, hopefully I'll have enough but I'm going to make it at least 10 feet so it reaches over to the other side. But um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I wish you the very best in your gardening adventures. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you comment below. Give me your tips and tricks. And um, I'll steal yours too. Have a great day. God bless.